Last summer, I visited Hanoi as part of my tour around Vietnam. While I was there, I stayed at the Hanoi Buffalo Hostel. For this video, I'll be taking you through the process of how I redesigned their website from start to finish. First of all, this is not actual client work. I'm just trying to do projects that's fun and I'm really passionate about. But I did give the hostel a heads up and I asked for permission if I could use their info and also the pictures they have on their website. So the website that we're redesigning for today is for the Hanoi Buffalo Hostel. This hostel is popular with backpackers who are looking for a budget-friendly place to stay while still being inside the old quarter of Hanoi. I stayed there for a week in a dorm room and it cost me $10 per night. So it's definitely worth it, but I wish I could say the same with their website. Right away, I feel like there's a lot happening on the website. I like the idea behind the carousel because they're trying to sell the experience of staying in the hostel, but it feels too busy, so we need to find a way to sell that experience in a better way. Scrolling down, we have the same issue where everything competes for attention, especially with the tour options. Yes, they're important and we need to highlight them, but there's too many options right away. Additionally, hiding the about section within these cards is not really ideal. I mean, it doesn't have to be prominent, but I think we should highlight important information about the hostel. Lastly, I'm surprised that they don't have the types of rooms available on their landing page, which I think is very crucial for a hostel. So we've identified problems with our current website. Now let's see what others are doing. An easy way to find their competitors was to go to Hostel World. I searched Hanoi and looked into the websites of their three closest competitors. At this stage, I'm looking for similarities or differences, positive and negative aspects about the website to see what I could integrate into the website I'm designing. I noticed that the most similar aspect was the placement of the card where users could book a reservation, so I'd like to keep that in mind when building my landing page. And while their competitors have similar sections such as rooms, tours, and about section, they're arranged differently. Moving forward, I need to find the best way to present the content that's specifically for the Hanoi Buffalo Hostel. Based on all the research and information I've gathered, here's the plan. My main goal for the website is to make people excited. I want to feed their wanderlust and their curiosity to visit the hostel. I also wanted to capture that sense of community that I experienced while staying in the hostel and share that feeling with others. For the typography, I'm planning to experiment with a mix of sans serif and script typefaces. As for the colors, I'll stick with the yellow they have from their logo and try to maintain the dark background they have. Then I added a green to represent nature. This way we're still consistent with their current style. In designing the wireframes, I really wanted to find a way to highlight the rooms. So I decided that the structure would start with the section with room options, followed by the about. Then we have the tours they offer and comments from previous travelers. When I got the designs on Figma, this is where I form a solid foundation of the layout of the landing page. I play around with different types of cards for different sections, then I also start experimenting with the colors and fonts. I really wanted to do something special for the main image. I tried different images like the interior of the hostel and other images they have on the website, but none of them were speaking to me. While I was looking for inspiration, something clicked. I grabbed my hard drive and retrieved some of the videos I took during my visit and edited the short video that would loop showing the hostel and highlights from their tours. Layout-wise, I was really happy with the wireframes. The only thing I wasn't sure about was the colors. If we look back on the mood board, you could see that I was planning to use dark colors for the majority of the page, but after working on it, I just feel like it wasn't giving off that warm and inviting feeling that I want users to feel. I changed gears and switched to a lighter background. For me, this gives a more friendly tone and complements the icons and text better. And now that we're on the right track, it's time to sit back and enjoy the process. This is the moment 
and I think the landing page is looking good, but let's go back to the beginning to fully appreciate the redesign. In the beginning, we have a website that feels a bit cluttered with lots of elements competing for the user's attention. And after working hard on redesigning the website, I'm excited to show you the final designs. I also showed the designs to the hostel and they liked it. So if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you!